Okay, so I've got a brand new type of setup guide for you today, and this is also introducing a wider audience to Fightcade. So if you're unsure what Fightcade is, it's an online matchmaking application where we can play retro games against other people across the world. So Fightcade itself it supports up to around just under 7,500 games, and it's simply just a case of setting this up, adding your games, and you're pretty much good to go. So if you're interested in battling out against someone in Australia and you're in London, then check this one out and see how it works. <laughs> Okay, first things first, if you like what you see today in this video, hit notification, subscribe and like. Here we'll get you up to date retro emulation content as I release it, which is every day pretty much. And it also helps my channel out a great deal. So we're looking at Fight Kate today and we're currently using Fight Kate 2 at the moment. So there's two versions of Fight Kate, so I believe. And Fightcade is an online matchmaking application where you can battle out against other people around the world play, playing retro beat em up games. So, this is Fightcade, and what we're going to do is download this for Windows 11. Before I do that, if we just scroll to the bottom, you can have a little glimpse there of what Fightcade looks like. So, very briefly, you open up the application and it will show you all the games which Fightcade currently supports. It also comes with a few different emulators, but you you need to do a bit of configuration on those emulators before you start playing. Now just bear in mind that Fight Kate doesn't come with any games, you need to put those in yourselves. And if we scroll up to the top, we've also got F and Q. And this will tell you bits and pieces that you might need to know if you're getting errors or whatever. But anyways, let's go through the download process and install this. So obviously Windows 7, 8, 10, 11 is supported for this as well as Mac OS and Linux. And it's quite a small file, I've already downloaded it within a few seconds. So once we got the installer, we're going to press yes, do you want to install Fightcade? Yes. And then we just need to install it to a particular path, so I'm going to install it to my documents folder by default. And just wait for this to install. And again, we're going to set the agreement to install DirectX. Now, I've got this installed already, but if you don't, it's handy to know that it comes with that. So, next. Okie dokie. So, once that process is finished, just literally press on finish. Was successfully installed just press ok and let's actually open up fight case 2 so double left click on the exe Now, if you're brand new to Fightcade and you've never used it before, you will need to log in and it's literally just a case of popping in an email address and putting a password in. Uh, I've already done this prior to this video. Let me just give you a quick little run through what this does. So this is all the games which is supported by the current Fightcade 2. And there's a lot here, there's pages in fact. As we can see at the bottom, um, as I record this video, Fight Kate 2 actually supports 7,510 games, ranging from Neo Geo to Super Nintendo and beyond. So there's a lot here. So let me just scroll through a few more pages so you can get an idea of what's actually on here. So, you know, all your usual games is going to be here Street Fighter, Final Fight. And, uh, you know, generally all those beat em ups and shoot em up arcade style games. So there's a lot here to look at. And let's say you want to play a game. Let's just go for something like uh, Metal Slug X Super Vehicle. What we're going to do is actually press join. Now, just here on the side, we're going to see Metal Slug X Super Vehicle. If we just left click on that, we'll then see if there's anyone to play. So right now for this particular game, there isn't. But if we want to join a game or we want to challenge someone to a game, what we're going to do is actually look for something else to play, something a bit more common. So by using the search function at the top, I'm going to just type in, say, Street Fighter. And that's going to narrow down. Now, Street Fighter, 
there's many different versions of Street Fighter ranging from the Super Nintendo to Mame Arcade and even Dreamcast uh, PC Engine 2 I think so we got lots of different versions here now if we go for say Street Fighter 3 Third Strike now if I go on to join on this one we've got another little pop-up come up on the side and we're allowed to put three of these on here if I just left click on Street Fighter as we can see, because Street Fighter is a very popular game, there's a lot more people in that lobby waiting to play. So in order to play this, I don't actually have the game put inside the directory yet. But let's just say I do, for now. I'm going to just right click on one of these names who's looking to play Street Fighter 3. And just left click on Challenge. And I'm going to personally go for Unranked. And as we can see, it now says you have Challenge train i'm um, so, sorry i can't pronounce that but within this lobby we can even send messages that type of thing to see if anyone's up for a game or whatever uh but from my brief little play arounds with this earlier on um i did get someone to take up a challenge to me very quickly so obviously if this is busy there's gonna be other people playing games with other people so what we're going to do next then is actually take a look at the directory of where this is installed to and I'm going to show you how to put games into it. So close down Fightcade and the easiest way to get to directory is going to be right clicking on the shortcut your installation made, open file location and just here we're going to have emulator. And here we go, so we got FB Neo, which is a Neo Geo emulator. We got Flycast, which supports a few different Sega systems, uh, Super Nintendo emulator here. Let's just go into Flycast for now. Now, here's the emulator itself, and we can open this up. And I'm going to recommend configuring your controllers in potential video settings before going into the lobby asking someone for a challenge. So first of all, we need to go into the ROMs folder. And this is where you're going to put your Dreamcast games. So I'm going to just paste in my copy of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, and that's in .chd. And let's just test this actually works before we go back into the lobby. So just open up the emulator, so double left click. And here we go. So here's my game, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. And if we just expand this, we can then go to Settings and Controls. And from here, I seriously recommend that you configure your controllers before going into a game. Uh, earlier on before making this video, I joined a game and I realized it wasn't automatically configured and the other person left, which is understandable. So under SDL just here, under physical devices, we can see my Google Stadia controller is actually picked up in this. So if we go to map at the ends just here, it looks like this emulator has actually picked up already this, but if yours don't, then it's just a case of doing something like going to map, and then it's gonna tell you to map your controller, so up, for example, and so on. So if we just close out of this, and I'm actually gonna go back in and just test up this game. That's working fine and I'm able to play that game very easily up to the point where I challenged someone else and they kick, totally kicked my ass. So let's talk about video settings. Now it's recommended when you're playing online against someone else you don't have your video settings up too high because of course we're playing online and things are going to potentially lag. But each one of these emulators do have video settings and these particular emulators are actually tailored specifically to work alongside Fight Cade. But everything's going to be on the website for you to read. Uh, but briefly, we got internal resolution and obviously we can put this up. But like I say, we're playing online and things are going to lag potentially. So uh, be wise about your video settings. 
Right then, so we've also got in our emulator folder FB Neo. Like I say, FB Neo is a Neo Geo emulator. So we can open up the emulator, the XE. And once you open up this, we got the same usual settings for emulator. So we got video where you can change uh, window size, resolution, that type of thing. And of course, in FB Neo, you're going to drag your Neo Geo games inside of the ROMs just here. And we've also got this emulator just here. So again, it's got a ROMs folder and you can drag your ROMs into this one. And finally, we got the SNES 9X. And yes, you can actually play uh, the Super Nintendo Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart with Ficade. So again, your SNES games will go into the ROMs folder. So that's quite a brief glimpse over the basics of Ficade. So now I've got my game insert it into Ficade itself in the directory if I open it up again. Now the game I put in is obviously Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. So first of all I'm going to just get rid of these on the side and we're going to start fresh. So leave channel and leave channel again. So my game Street Fighter 3 Third Strike we can either take a look through all games for it or just type it in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. So we got a few different versions just here. And the version I'm wishing to play is obviously for Dreamcast, and that's using Flycast. So if I go to join, and now obviously we go back up to the little circle just there on the side. And uh, yeah, very typical. There's actually no one there apart from one person who's currently playing. So what I'm going to do is just give it a few minutes and wait for this person to come off, possibly. Okay, so after a few minutes of waiting, I gave up and I'm going to just go into this one just here, the King of Fighters 2002. So press join. And here we go. So hopefully we're going to find someone this time. So just right click challenge. And I'm going to go for unranked again. I don't want to go against no Mr. Miyagi. So I'm going to try someone else. So challenge and unranked. And here we go. So we got you have been challenged. If I press a set on this. Thank you. Round the pole, fight! 
So that's it for the Fight Cage setup guide today. As you know, I cover a lot of retro emulated content on my channel, and I just came across this recently, and I thought someone might benefit from it. I know online gaming is very popular nowadays, and I'm quite surprised myself to see how active this is, actually, uh, knowing people around the world are playing these old beat-em-up retro games. So, link's going to be in my description for Fightcade, and if you get any issues, just take a look at the troubleshooting section on the Fightcade website. So, if you enjoyed this video today, hit the notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content and also feel free to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. But until next time, stay retro.